so I've decided that I am going to use Linux. Which Linux distribution are you going to use? I think you misunderstood. I am going to use Linux. Yes, but which Linux distribution are you going to use? What? What is a Linux distribution? You see, Linux itself is just the kernel or engine of the operating system, and it is surrounding by GNU tools to make up the operating system. There are hundreds of actual Linux distributions out there, all with different features. Oh, so which one should I use? Well, as I said, there are hundreds of them. Which desktop environment are you going to use? Say what now? Desktop environment? I was thinking somewhere in my office. No, no. A desktop environment determines how your computer looks and feels and is a collection of tools which includes some or all of the following. A window manager, a panel, a display manager, a file manager and various other tools. Oh, I don't know. I thought a window manager was the guy that worked at double glazing. Right. So there are a number of different window managers. They usually fall into stacking or floating and these are like you would get in Microsoft Windows. Essentially, the windows overlap each other when you open them. The, there are tiling window managers where all the windows load side by side. And what about a panel? Well, you know, the bar at the bottom of the screen in Windows, that is essentially a panel. It has little icons on it that launch applications and a system tray, which has access to your Wi-Fi settings and a clock, etc. and a menu. Oh, right. Well, as a beginner, it would make sense to have it be a little bit familiar, so I would want a stacking window manager and a panel. Which desktop environments provide that? There are a few. GNOME, KDE, Cinnamon, Mater, LXQT, XFCE. This is going to be trickier than I thought. Which is the best one? Well, that is for each person to decide for themselves. How old is your computer and how powerful is it? Well, I have two. One is an old laptop and the other is a decent desktop. As you are new, I would recommend either the KDE or the Cinnamon desktop for the newer computer and XFCE or the older one. What is a display manager? A display manager basically lets you log into your system and manages your user sessions. Great. So I want a distribution that runs either KD or Cinnamon, please? Excellent. Do you want a rolling release distro? No, I would like it to stay still. I can't have it going off the screen. Oh no, you misunderstand. A rolling release distro is one that keeps itself up to date by regularly running updates. You install it once and you don't have to install it again ever. That sounds great. Well, it is and it isn't. Sometimes with rolling release distros, the updates happen too frequently and things can break. What is the alternative? Well, you could use a distribution that has fixed releases. They release a version every 6 to 12 months, but beware that they don't all come with tools to help upgrade and quite often it is easier to reinstall from scratch. That doesn't sound very good. It is and it isn't. For instance, if you use a distribution like Ubuntu, you could install a long-term support release. What is a long-term support release? Ubuntu has a version that you can install and it will remain supported for five years. And if you sign up to their pro version, it provides support for 12 years. Your system will remain secure and you don't have to worry about upgrading if you don't want to. That sounds good. A lot of distributions work in this manner. How cutting edge do you want to be? What I have to use knives. No, what I mean is, do you want your system to always be the latest and greatest or are you happy to hang back? Latest and greatest sounds the best. Well, it is and it isn't. This falls in line with the rolling release bit. If you have the latest and greatest, then it is possible it will break because things are too new. But what is the alternative? There are various levels. For instance, there is Debian Stable. It is very stable, but the software is often quite a few versions behind the latest. Then you have more intermediate distributions such as Ubuntu and Linux Mint and Zorin, which are more up to date than Debian, but not necessarily running the latest. And then you have Arch, Fedora and OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. They run completely up to date. I think somewhere in between would be a good thing. Great. So which package manager do you want to use? I already have the computer. I don't need it delivered. Uh, no. See, a package manager is used to help you install software on your computer. There are many different package managers and formats. For instance, there are dev packages, RPMs, flat packs, snaps, etc. And for package management, there are command line tools such as apt, DNF, zipper and Paxman. For most new users, I recommend a graphical tool though. You can use Synaptic, Octopi, GNOME Software Manager, Caddy Discover. I just want one that is easy to use. Well, if you choose Cade as your desktop, then it would make sense to use Cade Discover. Do you want flat packs or snaps? This isn't IKEA. I don't want to do any of that. A into B. I hate wooden dowels.
and I don't think I need to play Snap. OK, so flat packs are a form of package that include all the dependencies for an application and they run in a container. Their file sizes are usually larger, but they are more likely to run and potentially more secure. Snaps are similar. Should I? As a new user, I would say yes. It gives you access to more software and it integrates into KDE Discover very well. So wow, there was more to this than I thought. So I would like a Linux distribution with the KDE desktop that is stable but not too old, that has access to KD Discover and Flatpaks already enabled and is easy to use. So for that, there is Kubuntu or KDE Neon. Although, whilst it doesn't use KDE, Linux Mint is a good choice as it uses the Cinnamon desktop, which is similar to KDE, and it has an easy to use package manager and flat packs are enabled as well. Alternatively, you could use Zorin, which is GNOME based, but they have used a traditional panel and it has both snaps and flat packs already enabled. Great. I think I will go for Linux Mint. Brilliant. Go to this website and download the ISO so you can burn it to the USB and boot into it. But don't forget, you will need to press the button to enter the UEFI settings so you can boot from the USB. Wow, so much information in one sentence. Firstly, what is an ISO? Imagine all the contents of a DVD compressed into a single file. That file is called an ISO. Why would I need to set fire to it to get it on the USB drive? When we say burn, we mean copy. But we don't just copy the single file onto the drive because that wouldn't work. By burning, it means expand the ISO back into the full list of information that was on the DVD in the first place. OK, so I have the installer running. It says I can erase my disk or replace a partition. What is a partition? Your computer's hard drive is one continuous disk. When you install an operating system, it often breaks the disk into sections called partitions. You would erase the disk if you want to make Linux the only operating system on the drive. You replace a partition if you want to use only a section of the drive for Linux and potentially dual boot. I am fully committed. I will choose the whole drive. Make sure you back up your work first because anything on that drive will be lost. Don't worry, I thought of that. Here we go, installing and done. Congratulations. If you need any more help, I recommend that Everyday Linux user guy.